Hello, I'm Chris Swaffer, Product Manager for Notion here at Presonus. This video series is a quick start guide for new Notion 6 users. It assumes you have already installed and activated Notion 6 and its sounds on your Mac or Windows machine. If you haven't, please check out the separate video linked below in the description. So welcome to Notion. We're very grateful to you for choosing our software. Let's get you up and composing as quick as we can. Here's the opening screen when you launch Notion. This is where you can open a recent score, create a new score from an ensemble template, or import MIDI or Music XML files from other software. We are going to click New Score. This takes you to the Score Setup screen where you can select the instruments you want in your score. Once you've added them, you can reorder them or go into their settings to change transposition, for example, or whether you want to see tablature. Now, as we're in score setup, you cannot enter notes. So click here to exit setup mode or hit escape. This sets up a default score, which is great as it's the least amount of clicks between having a musical idea and getting to an open document to write it down. Of course, you are not stuck only writing 31 bar pieces in C major that are in 4-4 at this tempo. Here's how you change each of those things. To add bars, hit the bar line tool in the palette and click and add into the score. The keyboard shortcut for bar lines is the letter I because it looks like a bar line. If we look here in the palette, we also find the key signature tool, the time signature tool, and the metronome tool. And you can also double click an existing time signature or metronome mark to change them. So let's enter some notes. There are a lot of ways to enter notes to suit you and your workflow. Some methods are best for on the move, some best for attached MIDI instruments some for education, and some like handwriting recognition if you have touchscreens or graphics tablets. But let's just start on the simplest. Hover over the palette with the mouse or click the palette for it to stay open. Click a duration and then click or hit enter to put it into the score. You'll get oral feedback of the note and there we are. I can also tap A for audition at any time to hear the note I am hovering over. Or hold, click and drag. If I want to add the note into a different voice in the same stuff, I can tap enter in voice 2, for example, in the palette. Now, this is the simplest way of entering notes. Once you are happy with that, you can start using keyboard shortcuts. There are two choices for duration shortcut sets. You can use numbers to select the length of a note, or you can use letters, for example, Q for quarter note and E for eighth note, if you use that system. Keep tapping the same key to toggle between note and rest, or press shift to see the rest. If you can't remember the shortcuts, Hover over items to view the tooltip, or you can print out the provided shortcuts PDF from Help Shortcuts. This PDF is available in all supported languages. The next note entry method is called Step Time, which allows you to accurately enter a note, rest, or chord step by step. You can enter this mode by clicking the Steps icon in the transport area, or Ctrl E on Windows, or Command E on Mac. You select the rhythmic duration via the keyboard shortcuts already mentioned and pitches to the on-screen instruments, any connected MIDI instrument, or even a QWERTY keyboard. Hit spacebar or double tap the note duration key to enter a rest. The cursor will automatically advance, so if you want to enter a chord, click chord mode. Build your chord and hit enter. For the on-screen instruments, you can choose between piano keyboard, 
guitar fretboard or drum pad. For the drum pads, note heads are automatically selected. Be sure to select the right voice depending on if you want to have the stems up or down. Also have a play with the included templates for drum grooves. Great for making a quick drum backing track. If you have an attached MIDI or Bluetooth MIDI instrument, the process is exactly the same. This is one of the quickest and most accurate ways of entering notes, with one hand on the computer QWERTY keyboard selecting duration, and the other hand on the MIDI keyboard selecting pitch. You can also select to use a computer QWERTY keyboard to enter both duration and pitch, using numbers for the durations and the A to G keys for pitch. You can adjust the octave and ties as you go. For simple chords and melodies, there are two automatic recognition features included in Notion, real-time MIDI record and handwriting recognition. Once you have your MIDI instrument attached, set the metronome mark to a playable speed, set your metronome settings, and hit the record button. Play to the click, and once you have finished, your notes will appear. You can set the split point, the chord looseness, and other settings in Preferences MIDI Record. Your underlying MIDI performance is still retained by Notion. Go to View, Show Sequencer Overlay, or hit the shortcut Tab key, and then you can see and edit it. For handwriting recognition, click the pen. You can use this not just on Windows tablets, but on any Windows or Mac with an attached graphics tablet, or with desktop extension apps like Duet or Sidecar, available for selected Macs. Write your notes, and after a period of inactivity, it will turn into digital notation. You can write directly into the score or into a handwriting zoom area. This allows a dual mode where you could say enter notes in the top area with step time, but then add articulations by hand in the handwriting area below. Supported handwriting elements are outlined in the user guide and will work with five line pitched notation staves. That's it for this quick start guide to set up a note entry. Thanks for watching.